Um, this poem's called Death. And every time I do this poem, people go, no, don't do that poem, don't do that poem. But they don't even remember the poem, they just remember the title. And I, I think I need to do a small intro. This is not death in the Western sense of death as in a negative thing, as in the end of all the good times. This is like more of an Eastern sense. Anyone who's Buddhist or maybe Hindu probably understands what I'm talking about. Death like a natural part of life. Death like something that you can't ignore. Death like something you can't avoid. That kind of death. Death like something that is just as natural as that. Every time I close my eyes, I walk amongst my lost brothers and sense the last beat of a heart exhausted. And I recognize the graceful exit of my soul is nothing more than a wishful thought of opportunism. How clever do I find he, attempting to fool my consciousness, accepting only the truths that lead a painless existence that is he within me. But he is somewhat of a naturalist, creating a conundrum as we rarely see nature pick and choose, but win or lose, this battle must end in suffering. And it is the innate separation, recognition of profundity that frees my soul from the bondage of physical existence, barring suffering's persistence from dragging me down. The sensitivity of my spiritual is perpetually on high, allowing me to pick up the divinity in everything.